what's up you guys i feel like i'm just gonna start a new vlog um i'm <laughs> i just got done editing my birthday vlog and i'm like you know what? let me keep going with it because i like the like two week vlogs they work out well i don't do anything too exciting on a daily basis but i did want to show you what i picked up from target because i think either sometime this week i want to decorate my christmas tree girl it's too early but it already snowed here it snowed on my birthday like bad bad um so i'm like okay i have an excuse <laughs> there's snow on the ground your girl can decorate a christmas tree so i think i'm gonna do colorful this year this is really calling my name all the sparkles all the jewel tone colors so i already have a bunch of red ornaments from last year because my tree is white and i did red with it um so i'm just gonna add on to that some more color I got this because I don't have a, um, a tree, a tree blanket. <laughs> what the fuck are those called? The, the tree blanket. I don't know what they're called, you guys, but I'm going to put this around my tree, the base of my tree. And then I got some tinsel, some more tinsel. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to hang this up because this will be a biatch to pull off the tree, but we will see. <laughs> kind of scaring me because it's all not connected it's not connected at all so I'm like mm, maybe not and then I got some of these just to scatter around the tree but I'll probably eat them because these are the best candy cane don't at me um but I also I also went to Trader Joe's I want to show you nothing too crazy y'all I did the most this weekend ate whatever I wanted so we're back on our clean shit so let me just show you what I picked up first this was my only little cheat thing some smoked salmon dip with capers my sister said this was super bomb so I have some pretzels somewhere around here so I'm gonna eat that with that it's not good for you so <laughs> It's my treat. Um, I got some chicken sausage. I love eating this in the morning with um, eggs and feta cheese. Eggs, feta, and some chicken sausage. Super high protein breakfast. Um, and then I got some fish nuggets. I don't know. They're actually pretty good for you. So I was like, oh, nice to just have on hand when I don't feel like cooking. I got some gingerbread coffee. Sounds really good. Some turkey chili in a can. I'm always a little skeptical about um, turkey chili in a can, so I'll let you guys know if that's any good. I got some potatoes, broccolini, green beans, um, green onions, some of this deassembled elote. Um, I got some greens, some shredded carrots, some fish, lemon for my water, and what else was I going to Oh, I'm going to make this salad dressing. You need a lot of lemon to make it. I'll show you guys how to make it. Onion, egg, and then sweet cream, um, coffee creamer. Yeah, you guys, that's what I got. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's Tuesday, so three days after my birthday. Your girl has a bad cold, so I'm like, okay. I just gotta sit in my house, rest a little bit more, and then it's go time, baby. I have been reading all day. Well, I did finish up um, that vlog. I was editing early this morning, but I've been posted up on my couch for the last few hours reading The Spanish Love Deception. It's so freaking good I don't even like romance novels oh my god but I feel these characters it's funny I am just cracking up and I'm so in love with both of them so yeah highly recommend this book I'm a little bit more than halfway through it and I'm obsessed I cannot wait to finish it I'm probably gonna be here on the couch the rest of the day don't care what I have to do. I don't have anything more important than finishing this book. <laughs> so, yeah, I love it. I'm not much of a reader, but when I find a good book, oh, it just it hits different. So, leave me book recommendations. I like mystery. I like little fucked up books. And I also, I'm liking this one. I might have to check out if she has any other books. Because this one is everything. I'm trying to decide where I want to put my tree. I'm kind of thinking in front of this maybe it was here last year but obviously that's my corner for all of my bullshit <laughs> so do i put it in front of this i don't like go out there i guess i have to clean up my patio before um the snow comes i think my mom's taking that furniture um 
because I'm not going to be living here next year. So I should see if she wants to come grab that from me or have my dad pick it up. Um, because I don't really have anywhere to put it this winter. So yeah. But yeah, that's all that's going on. Nothing too crazy. I finished up that vlog this morning. So all I got to do is links and post it tomorrow. So I got plenty of time. So we are going to sit down. Probably going to make some coffee and keep going ham on this <laughs> you guys you guys gotta try this salad recipe if you're into salads um so it's a homemade dressing it's like half of a lemon squeezed um some olive oil italian seasoning salt and pepper mixed up as your dressing and then uh spring mix carrots onions and salmon it's so freaking good oh and feta yum all right you guys Let's get it started. Good morning, you guys. Um, what's up? What's up? It is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Um, my sister's in town. She landed last night, so we are gonna hang out today. I know I've been terrible at vlogging lately. Like, your girl has not been doing well with it, but that will end today. I will vlog tomorrow, Thanksgiving, what I do with the fam. Um, my throat has like not given up. I still have this gnarly cough that will not kick it. So um, yesterday I tried to, well I filmed an Amazon fashion haul. By the time I was done with that, I was like choking up, like my throat hurt so bad. So um, I was planning on going on Amazon Live that night and I was like, there's no way. I won't be able to talk. <laughs> so um, I think I'm gonna make some tea. I had some coffee this morning, but I need some tea. I need to get ready because I would like to film an Amazon Live tonight. If my voice holds up, my sister is gonna come over. We're gonna do our nails. I got this new kit. It's like, if you guys have ever heard of Kira Sky, like their gel kit or um, a press X it's like that but it's $20 those kits are like a hundred hundred and fifty dollars this one's twenty dollars and I'm like let me try it out um, I posted it on Instagram and a few of you guys have been like I love that it hasn't lifted or no nails have fallen off so I'm hyped because if I don't have to do poly gel I'm super hyped I'm so mad my camera my battery is about to go so let me put in another one and we'll continue talking okay yeah so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna do our nails um, and just hang out I have an appointment at 1 15 make sure you go get your paps and your STD test regularly um, after that I need to run into Target um, and get stuff for mac and cheese we're gonna do barbecue themed Thanksgiving we're I'm not a huge fan of turkey I think turkey is dry I just think it's like the worst meat in the in the group I would have ham over turkey any day so we're gonna do a little barbecue style I think my dad's making ribs or brisket and I'm in charge of mac and cheese and I think I'm also going to maybe make some cornbread um, and then <clears throat> mashed potatoes um, and my mom's making something else like some vegetable I don't know but yeah I'm gonna make a mac and cheese I was trying to think of some recipes I'm gonna look some up on TikTok in a second I go to TikTok for all my recipes because they're so quick and you can kind of get a feel for like what you're getting into really easily um, and 
I want to do like I want to do like a baked mac and cheese but like a very like juicy liquidy mac and cheese like I've done baked mac and cheeses which are just like straight up like so much cheese I think I want to do something with Velveeta just so it's a little creamier because when you bake it sometimes it dries out so I'm gonna look for something like that <laughs> also something I was thinking about last night I don't know if it's just me I'm sure it's not I because I remember feeling like this all the time during the holidays but you just feel burnt out like especially like between Thanksgiving and Christmas just burn out and I think it's because we're just like checked out you know like you've got so many off weeks you know Thanksgiving you're off typically like Thursday and maybe Friday um, and it just feels like you're constantly waiting for the next holiday and you know people are off work a lot and yeah I just feel a lot of burnout personally for me I feel a lot of pressure to put out like content 24 7 like every day something new on one of my social medias at least and I know it's a pressure I put on myself like none of you guys are like where's the next video you know I mean sometimes you guys are but like in like like I can't wait to see what you put out next like you know no one's like on my ass I'm on my own ass which is a good feature I'm not gonna lie like I am highly motivated to like you know perform well and that goes for any job that I've worked but um I think I just I feel like I cannot do enough <laughs> there is not enough time in the day there is not enough motivation like I have so many things that I could edit right now but I don't want to I'm I'm over it I it gets repetitive and I'm sure you guys are feeling like this too like I think there's a few things like obviously the holidays are stressful for a lot of people um, you know brands and marketing is being pushed down your throat and then work gets a little more challenging because you know you're juggling people time off um, and obviously most companies have the pressure to perform well in Q4 that's just overall everyone you know there's money in Q4 in general and pretty much any company that you're working for so like yeah it's just a lot of piling up of that and then on top of it we have daylight savings where it gets dark at 4 30 at night now and so your motivation goes out the window to like do anything after work it feels like groundhog's day personally i don't like leaving the house at night in general like like if it's 4 30 and the sun's going down i'm like oh i missed my window to go to the gym <laughs> i missed my window to go grocery shopping you know like doing stuff at night doesn't sit right with me so I think it's a little bit of that I'm not sure though I can't pinpoint what is stressing me out and making me not motivated but I think it's like a compilation of all of those things let me know if you guys feel that I I can't be the only one in this boat but sheesh it's getting tricky um, I'm trying to just you know give myself a little bit of grace and be like you know what you don't need to put out two videos a week on YouTube, especially if you're not feeling it. You don't need to, you know, put out a video on TikTok every single day. Like, you know, your money will flow normally. I just set all of these huge goals for myself, and I don't think I'm going to set my, a huge goal for myself next month. Like, this month I have been stressed out trying to reach that goal. And, you know, it's it's good to set, like, attainable goals, and it's totally attainable, but... It's stressing me the fuck out. <laughs> I don't want it. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Anyways, uh, this shirt's from Shein. If you guys are wondering, ear earrings are Amazon. So, yeah. Let me get off of this and we're going to get to work. I got to edit. Guys, sorry. Apparently, I have flat nails for this. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. 
um you guys it's about 10 o'clock i'm gonna head over to my parents house i'm in charge of the mac and cheese so i gotta get over there and get making it um i'll bring you guys along though i'm gonna switch out my battery and hopefully we'll be good but yeah i'm also gonna stop at target i'm gonna pick up uno because i don't know why i don't have uno at my house but we gotta get a game to play or something so yeah yesterday i ended up running to aldi's getting all the stuff for my mac and cheese i'll link the recipe that i'm following in the description box it's just from instagram um <clears throat> But it looks really good. It looks really like creamy and cheesy, which is what I'm going for instead of like more of like a baked mac. Um, we're gonna go like WAP style <laughs> mac and cheese. So yeah, I'm excited to make that. I also did my nails last night. They turned out super, super good. I did um, like this chocolate brown with a matte top coat. I think they're fire. They were super easy. I, I'm having no issues with these nails. My sister's lost two nails. She came over and did hers too. So I don't know what's going on with that, but um, whatever. I think it's, I, I honestly have no idea. I was even putting on shapewear last night on Amazon Live and it's some extreme shapewear, the type of shapewear that will break your nail. No issues. So I'm not sure what happened with hers, but um, I would offer to bring that all over, but no, <laughs> not today. I'm already bringing so much stuff over. So yeah, I got to stop at Target, get Uno, and I got to get a coffee because I am tired, but yeah, I stayed up way too late. I did my Amazon Live last night. Um, and follow my Amazon storefront if you want to join, but I was having so many issues connecting. It took about 45 minutes to connect, which never happens. It typically takes 30 seconds to connect and you're live. No, it took me 40 minutes, and so by the time I was done, it was 10 p.m., and then I stayed up for a little bit. And tired but we eat our Thanksgiving meal early <laughs> we are not waiting till the evening to eat it we eat it at noon sharp so I will be taking a nap shortly after so we will power through the next two to three hours and then sleep <laughs> take a nap watch a movie um but yeah so I gotta get going and I'll see you when I get to my parents house happy Thanksgiving to the listeners Ew. <laughs> We're making our food. Allie cut up all of the cheese. Um, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. No, you're my servant today. Servant? I'll get thin off the ship. Um, so yeah, this, I'll, I'll take what uh, recipe we're following, but it calls for onion, which I'm a little confused about. That does not sound right to me, but let me show this to you. I get the water boiling and it's go time, baby. Come on, break that up. Season your water, you guys. Make sure you're shaving your water. Okay. Yeah, we're making ribs today. No turkey in this house. No turkey. Saving the turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, girls. girls the girls, girl. gays, and theys. Okay, you guys. So, oh shit, that's not supposed to be happening. Gotta set this to the side. It's not supposed to bubble like that. Um, yeah, this just needs to melt down a little bit more. And then I took a stick of butter and then chopped up some onion. And that sauce is going in here. Then my cup of pasta water. And then um, my cheese. I've got Gruyere, Gruyere cheese, pepper jack, uh, Monterey, and sharp cheddar. Um, and yeah, after that, we got our mac and cheese done, and then you just layer it with the leftover, um, sharp cheddar, and bake it till it's golden brown on the top. And then, pasta water. Oops. Oh shoot, I think there was a noodle in there. Whatever. <laughs> Just gonna add a little handful at a time. What are you doing? I'm putting the macaroni and cheese. Are you redoing it now that you have makeup on? Uh-huh. <laughs> 
And here we have Lizzie, you might know her. Chef of the day. Dad, say happy Thanksgiving. Happy yeah. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Ooh, Ooh yummy. <laughs> saucy. Um, I know, I wanted one that was saucy this yeah, year. I hate dry mac and cheese. Yeah. I know, when I make the baked one last time, it was a little. This one, I don't think can be dry. This is like soup with noodles in it. I know. <laughs> so, do we have any more sharp cheddar? Oh my goodness. I guess, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. My mac and cheese. It's saucy. It's gonna be okay. I would just cook it for longer than 10 minutes. What in the world? I followed all the directions correctly. There was a little hiccup in the mac and cheese, but we're back on track, baby. All you have to do is make more macaroni. Lizzie's mad. It's freaking soup. Good soup. It's good, but it'll be awesome. Is yeah, it tastes really good. Is mac and cheese a pasta or is it a soup? Well, I don't know because Kowalski's and Cobb wow. sells the Please best. See anything. These are I know. So dirty. I know. I gotta clean them. Um, it tastes make, really good. They make the best. The seasoning is soup. on point. Soup. The dairies yeah, are on true. point. So yeah, we just need a little bit more substance to bind it together, and then we're back in action. Back Dad's in, making back in business. <laughs> making ribs. Making ribs. What kind of sauce? Did you put sauce on it? I, I haven't put really sauce good. on it. No. Mm. Use mustard on its ribs. That's the secret. Mustard. Mustard actually is For like a paste. Yeah. So that's awesome. Mustard on like most meat is really good. You don't like taste the mustard either. Well, it's used yeah. as the mustard is used as a binder. Yeah. A binder. You put the mustard on it first. And then you put your rub on. Okay. Oh, so it sticks. That makes sense. Cool. Okay, damage control has been performed. We got two, we got a little bit more pasta, and now it's looking like a good consistency. So you guys remember to use heavy cream instead of half and half, but uh, I just spread a little bit of sharp cheddar, or mild cheddar, some paprika for cover, and some... Added some more noodles. Some decorative little parsley grass. So now she's going in the oven. I will do the grand reveal. In she goes. Grill master over here did the most. Okay. <laughs> Took it to a different level. I thought we were just doing ribs. I didn't know we were doing turkey and ribs. Dad came, I went up when I was outside with Dad. He's like, I got a whole turkey in there. <laughs> what the hell? This Get into it. Get into it. We got yams, yams, potatoes, tomatoes. You name it. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, you guys, what's up? It is. 1.30 in the afternoon, Saturday. I'm about to go bowling with the fam. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, yesterday, you guys, I was not with it. Um, I did it, in, it was Black Friday, so I felt a lot of pressure to, you know, get on Amazon Live and go through some Black Friday products, but realistically, have I, should I have been on live, like, feeling low like I was? No. No, I should have took my butt to bed, took a nap, and maybe got on live if I felt better, but you guys, I ended up going on live. I don't know how it turned out. I don't even want to watch the footage. I was out of it, but I did that. Let me get my water. I'm thirsty. So I went on Amazon live around 2 p.m., got that done. You guys seem to enjoy it. I had a few of you guys DM me saying thanks for getting on live. So I'm glad you guys liked it, but I was not feeling it. I was not like feeling like energized enough to be doing it. And so after that, I cleaned my house a little bit and then I took my ass to bed at like 7.30. I was lights out at 7.30 and I didn't wake up until 8.30. <laughs> so I slept for 
13 hours last night. I was so tired and I think I just needed to give my body a break. I mentioned before in this vlog that I feel stressed. I feel like I'm overdoing it, trying to get all this stuff done. Like I have so many things filmed now, but I have nothing edited. I have nothing to upload. So after bowling, you know, I'm gonna go hang out with the fam. Um, have some good food, some chicken wings maybe, and then I'm gonna take my butt back home and edit for the remainder of the evening. I'm gonna try and knock out two videos, and then tomorrow I have a video I need to film as well, a holiday gift guide, and yeah, that's about it. So, um, <clears throat> I need to do some editing, and I also need to edit some TikToks as well, so... Yeah, but other than that, yeah, I think I, I'm just kind of burnt out at this point. So, yeah, you guys, I think I just need to have a chill rest of the weekend, get some work done so I'm not stressing next week. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys later at the bowling alley. Hey, you're looking like your dad. Okay, we got a one. I'm gonna win. Mom, you think it's me or dad who's gonna win? We're tied. Oh, you are. Definitely. Or Allie, I guess. But it was spare. Like, if you get a strike, you get extra. Oh, well, it's looking good for me. <laughs> yeah, that's good for dad, actually. Maybe. Don't get the gutter like I keep getting. <laughs> like I keep getting. Yeah, I keep, like Al keeps getting. I'm really good at getting the yeah, gutter. Yeah, really I'm gutter. really good at it. If hitting the gutter was where we got the point. I'd be winning. <laughs> I gotta get this on camera. Yeah, you do. Then I'll film you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's not looking good for you, Liz. Oh, okay. I'll film you. Come on, Liz. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Strike. Uh, Lizzie, you gotta do better. <laughs> you can do it, Liz. Right in the middle, hard. Right in the middle, hard. Right in the middle, really hard. Come on, girly. Here goes. Oh, maybe. Did she do it? Ah, oh, dang. Hey you guys, hello, it's Sunday. I've been editing all day. My sister popped over. Hello. Guess what we're about to do. 
we are about to wax her armpits. Have you ever waxed your armpits before? I have one time by myself, <laughs> and it was really bad. <laughs> I get but to pull it. This is what I have. I I didn't even come over planning. Stop! I don't like the, I don't like it no, that close. I need a I need a before and after. I didn't even come over planning on doing this. I just <laughs> came over and didn't think I had to shave my armpits for my sister. <laughs> came over and she's like we gotta wax up we gotta wax them i actually had the wax kit already out because i was waxing mine today oh <laughs> it's hot is it hot not too hot but it's tickling me i don't know <laughs> okay we got it all in one <laughs> you guys it's Sunday night it's 6 p.m. I just got back from the gym and getting some groceries I'm trying to eat clean as hell you guys because girl the this last week has just not been it for me and I want to feel good I want to feel you know healthy energized so we're making chicken noodle soup tonight I believe I think that's what we should do um, I was thinking about chicken tortilla soup but um, oh, but all these like had nothing. I think it was like cleared out from Thanksgiving. So we're doing chicken noodle soup. It's gonna be like a little detox, um, which I definitely need. So let me show you what I picked up. I also tried getting some, I also tried getting some footage of me at the gym, um, but I was dumb and I set it to zoom instead of like a wide lens. So all of the footage was trash. Sorry guys. I'm trying, but <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, I got some salmon and chicken. I got my favorite chicken sausage. So, so, so good in like with your breakfast, like with eggs. So, so good. Um, I got this Chobani oat coffee creamer. Um, apparently it's really, really good. Sarah Ray Vargas was like raving about this. They had a ton of it at Aldi and no protein in it. I thought Chobani was like full of protein, but whatever. It's 25 calories per tablespoon, um, which is more than regular coffee creamer, right? Let me see. Nope. It's less, so I don't know. I'm not a huge peppermint fan, but I wanted to try it because she was raving about it, so we'll see. Um, I got some shrimps. I got some more garlic powder, feta for my eggs. I got some couscous. Um, I've really been liking couscous. I ate it with some of my um, every plate meals and it was super good. I'm going to put this actually in my soup. I'm going to put, I think, one of these in my soup and then an um, edamame spinach in my soup just to keep it really clean. I didn't want any like simple carbs, so I'm going to try and do this and see how it tastes. It might look a little funky, but I don't care as long as it tastes good. I'm doing some chicken broth, garlic, got some more Bustello. Got some carrots, celery, green beans, um, some cilantro, and green onions, and then a little treat if I'm ever craving something sugary, some dark chocolate, blueberry, acai, little berries, and some salsa if I want to make like um, breakfast tacos. So yeah, $55, and yeah, I'm going to get to making up my chicken and... Um, getting the soup together, so I'll see I'll film a little bit of it for you guys. All right, you guys my cheeky noodles are almost done I'm about to add in um, the couscous and the noodles so to season a Whole lot of garlic powder plus real garlic garlic salt because I used um, two like large cups of water so it was lacking in salt and then parsley some of this umami seasoning a lot of pepper and did I already say onion yep I got onion in there but yeah 
it's really actually really really good um i just keep seasoning until i like how it tastes so yum i'm kind of like do i add in the couscous or do i add in the edamame this one has roasted garlic and olive oil in it this one is healthier for you hmm. maybe i do this just one of these let me try it all right here is the final product it looks nasty <laughs> let me taste test for you guys if it's any good i will put the ingredients and a little recipe in the description box but it's hot as hell i'm gonna need to let it cool down for a sec mm. you know what it's not bad at all um i will say noodles are a big difference like from your traditional um, chicken noodle soup, like they don't really have any like substance because they're edamame, they're plant-based, so yeah. But there are a lot of really good protein pastas at Aldi, so check them out. And they're really affordable, but yeah, this isn't bad. As long as you season the broth really good, you know, I could eat this for two, three days. So yeah, I'm about to take my little dish watch some real housewives and chill the hell out we got a busy day tomorrow so yeah not bad for my first soup of the season i'll definitely be making more my favorite one to make is chicken tortilla so that's probably next on the list so yeah i'll catch you guys later <laughs> morning baby cakes we are gonna film a video I think I'm almost done being sick. Lord, thank you. Girl, I've been sick for like three weeks now. Whatever. Um, Yeah, we are going to film a little holiday dress haul. It's in collaboration with my girl. Um, So yeah, that one's going up in two days. I got a video already ready. I uh, got all the links together while I was eating breakfast this morning. I need glass. That's what I'm missing. But yeah, hopefully this video doesn't take too long to film. I'm also going to film a TikTok um, as well because I need a TikTok for me shapewear. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. What is up, you guys? It's been a few days since I've vlogged, but I had to run over to this mail carrier place because our mailboxes at my apartment are broken or something, and so they've been holding a few of my... I thought it was mainly just like bills and mail and stuff which is all on auto pay so I wasn't that concerned about it but I ended up having like five random packages get stopped there so I'm excited to see what's in there I saw one from Pinsy Shapewear and Good Molecules so I'm hyped already um, it is Wednesday I just posted a video I posted my December favorites so I'm hyped about that um, <clears throat> I also worked on my holiday dress haul with Gladys from Is That Your Hair? I was editing that this morning. I'm almost done with it. Just a few more edits to make. But I wanted to run to Target before it starts getting busy. It's um, 1.40 right now, so kind of want to beat the rush. Um, I want to... <coughs> I want to get cough drops for this nasty cough I have. My throat is very dry. Um, so I want to do that. And I also need to get Drano, my sink. I think since I use coconut oil to wash the makeup off of my face every day, um, there's a lot of oil build up in my sink. So I got to use some Drano and take that out. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to snake my sink but I think this should take it out I think it's just an oil buildup um, <clears throat> but yeah my my water hasn't been going down my drain very well so gotta do that but what else is going on oh my god you guys I got an email from Amazon this morning and every once in a while they audit my videos okay they have to you know it's part of our agreement um, I've been audited in the back in the past and one of um, the audit issues I had was I said the word dupe or I had Amazon dupes, which is why I don't do dupe videos anymore on my YouTube channel related to Amazon. Maybe I'll do them like from AliExpress or whatever. 
Um, but honestly, doing dupe videos in general is just a little shady, especially as a creator. Like, I don't know. I know you guys like to see them, and I like finding dupes, but um, one, brands don't like to see that shit. <laughs> and honestly, like, it's just, I don't know. It's not really it when it comes to like putting content out there like yeah it's kind of disrespectful to the original creator whatever the brand is so I don't know I ended up taking all those videos down off of my Amazon um, off of my YouTube like I used to do like um, bougie on a budget videos which were all like dupes I don't do those anymore um, and so I got a slap on the wrist for that originally but I got a violation for using the Amazon logo in my thumbnails and I'm like hold up I have over a hundred Amazon related videos on my YouTube channel and they on all of the thumbnails I use the Amazon logo I'm like I don't have those old thumbnails anymore like I can't go back and edit you know the logo off like I don't know what I'm supposed to do so I don't know you guys I emailed my rep I was like hey listen like these are, some of these are old videos and then I took her I took a screenshot of Amazon favorites like the most popular Amazon favorites every single one of those people had the Amazon logo on their thumbnail so I'm like it feels really unfair for you guys to you know hit me with this violation while everyone else people who have way way bigger channels and are also part of the program um, are doing it as well like I don't know I haven't gotten an email back from her but I'm kind of freaking out about that because if I have to redo all of my Amazon thumbnails for YouTube um, <laughs> I will be there all weekend doing that that will take fucking forever so that's super annoying but yeah, that's just one thing. Hopefully they won't, won't make me redo them. Like, I asked if I could get granted access to use their logo. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really fucking nervous though because Amazon does not play around. It's not like a small business, you know? So, we will see. But yeah, I am here. So, I'm gonna go in and I'll give you guys a haul of what I get when I get back home, okay? Okay. I've been taking on all this baggage. I've been on so much weight. You wait, you were special till I made you so. You better get back to know. Okay, you guys, I'm back home. Super excited to see what's in this big thing. Oh, good molecules. Okay, yes. I got kind of beat up. But let's see. It's like that. It doesn't smell good, but it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. I was going to take a little pic and say thank you, but this is too beat up. <laughs> okay, next one. Oh, this is from Pinsy. Um, if you guys don't know Pinsy, they've done a lot of, um, they've partnered with a lot of, like, medium-sized influencers. They are, like, a lingerie shapewear brand. Like, their shapewear <clears throat> looks sexy and I love that idea you know the fact that <clears throat> most shapewear is not sexy whatsoever so if you can find some good shapewear that's also sexy like yes ooh that's hot ooh I can't wait to try it out here's what the back side looks like so it's gonna look really seamless I have a feeling they've got snaps at the bottom cute you guys, I completely forgot I was going to work with this company. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I still want to, um, but I they rebranded. The original, original name was Thrive, I believe, and they rebranded to something else. I'll put the name on the screen when I'm editing, but um, pretty much it's a kit that tests your gut health. So it tests for like any abnormalities, um, like if you're sensitive to any sort of food. So like if you have like IBS, like any 
you know, regularity issues or things upset your stomach or you're breaking out, this is gonna help detect like foods that um, you probably shouldn't be eating. Um, so yeah, this is supposed to test your gut health. Super excited about that. Um, as far as what I got from Target, I got these pants. They are stunning. They're like a silky pant. I feel like these would be so poppin' with like a bodysuit or something and some heels. These type of pants make your booty look good. So excited about these. Really pretty like mauve color. I'm gonna make burgers tonight. So I got that stuff. Um, I also got this spicy pepper jack cream stuff. I was thinking instead of using cream cheese, cause I'm gonna make like um, a jalapeno popper burger. I'm gonna try this spicy pepper jack spreadable cheese. Hopefully it'll kind of give the same effect. And I got a jalapeno. And then I have some cheese, like some mozzarella cheese in my fridge. So that's easy. Um, what else did I get? Um, just a elf brush. I also got myself a cleansing, a sensitive cleanser. Um, I've heard really good things about this Honey Pot one. I love Honey Pot. I use their boric acid suppository. Like, anytime I'm done with my period, I'll just pop one of those babies up in there. And I also got this holiday seltzer pack. Um, it's pomegranate, ginger fizz, crayon orange sparkler, spiked apple spice, holiday sangria. Sounds good to me. So yeah, I think that's all I got. I gotta go through all this freaking mail, which is all junk. It's all people trying to get me to buy insurance and shit, but my credit card, I lost my credit card a few, probably almost like a month ago, and I need that. Anyone else just feel around in their mail? Like, I think this is the credit card. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this stuff away and then start making my burgers and I'll check back in once my burgers are done. Okay, you guys, here is the finished product. I'm starving, so I'm so excited to dig in. Condiments are so important to me, so for the potatoes, we're using this chipotle aioli. I might even throw some on the burger if it's not like super flavorful. I used the Laughing Cow Spicy Pepper Jack is like a cream cheese instead of real cream cheese. Lower in calories, I think these are what, 25? Yeah, they're like, they're 30 calories a serving, so yeah. Sounds good, I'll let you guys know how it is. What's up you guys, good morning. You guys, um, today is Thursday. I've got my collab with Gladys, so excited about that. I just need to put the final touches on it. Um, and we're doing a premiere, and live premieres are so much fun because you get to you know, watch it all. You get like a big crew of people together, you watch it live, and you'll leave like comments and stuff. Super duper fun. Um, I wanted to show you the shapewear I'm wearing. This is the Pinsy shapewear. Let me give you a better look in the mirror. Okay, so here's how the shapewear looks. It goes all the way around the booty like that. Um, so I, I like this a lot. I need to um, follow up with them and let them know how much I like this shapewear. Because it's sexy. It's not like your traditional shapewear that is butt ugly. You know, you gotta take it off in the bathroom. Um, you know, especially if the date night is going good, you gotta slip that off real quick. No, you could like, you know, get undressed from your little outfit. And this is sexy. It's like shapewear lingerie almost. Super cute, and I think this can double as like a, a going out bodysuit. So I'm gonna try it on with um, those Target pants I picked up yesterday. Super pretty. I love this detail. Um, I love the lace on the back side too. Um, that also helps kind of like smooth out, but it's a little bit more seamless lace. So yeah, this is gorgeous. These are a little pricey, so I'm going to reach out to them, see if I can get you guys a little discount code, and hopefully I can partner with them um, because, you know, I'd love to promote it widespread, but I don't do anything for free, and I definitely don't get in lingerie shapewear for free. Definitely not. <laughs> so um, I'm showing my YouTube girls, but, you know, if you see this on the gram or TikTok, just know I truly do love it. Um, so yeah, she's cute. They also have a lot of different styles, so if you're not feeling this one, um, check it out. They've got different styles. They've also got like um, your more traditional shapewear as well, but, you know, the lingerie shapewear, 
it's everything. So let me try it on with um, those Target pants real quick. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Why are you so tight? I got this in a size large. Oh no, what the hell? I caked up in the back, but this is not cute. Okay, you guys, I gotta go back for an XL, it sounds like. But I like these pants in general. Let me show you. Color is cute. Style is cute. Damn! These run small as hell. So yeah, um, if you want these pants, definitely size up. I'm typically a large at Target, I thought, but not in the silk pants. These have no stretch either. So I actually might try them on in-store, the, the extra large, and make sure we're good because... Yeah, these are built a little funny, especially if you got a little booty or some legs, like, tight. <laughs> so, I was hoping this would be a very cute outfit, but I'm definitely going to go back and get these pants. I like them. Um, I can see myself wearing them a lot. They also come in hot pink, which would be bomb. I might have to try them on in hot pink as well, but I think this color would maybe be a little bit more versatile. You know, I could wear some tan with it. But, yeah, this ain't it. <laughs> okay, I also have a pair of faux leather pants from Amazon I want to show you guys real quick. A little impromptu try-on haul. Let's get into it. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Can you guys see okay? I think this is actually giving you a true color. It's kind of a brown, reddish, clay color. It's a very interesting color. Um, I like them, though. They make the booty look good. They can go up a little bit higher. Yes, okay, come through. These are cute as hell. Um, I'll link them for you guys. They also came in a lot of other colors as well. Okay, here are pants number two. I paired them with my Shein shoes, and this is Express. I'll try and link everything. If I forget, you guys, just let me know in the comments and I'll get it linked. But yeah, these are good too. Um, I will say, I don't know if I like how high-waisted they are. Like, it's nice, but damn, they go up so high. But they're stretchy. You know, they're cute. I like. They're very cute. This would even be a cute date outfit. Very covered up, but you still look fab. Super cute. Yo, um, it's me again. You guys, it is Friday. It is probably about 4 p.m. Yeah, it's about 4 p.m. Um, I just finished up doing a makeup tutorial on this look. Um, it's just like my everyday filming glam. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking to see it. <coughs> Sorry, this cough will not kick it. Um, so yeah, I, even, I got this brush from e.l.f. It's just like their $6 brush. It's the angled one. To do your foundation, this rocks. I saw someone on TikTok use it, and so I picked it up, and they were onto something. It's super good. It leaves your um, finish it leaves your finish very, very soft and, like, Photoshopped. I like it. Um, but anyways, you guys, I am going out for a drink with my friend tonight. We are going to try and hit up, like, a Christmas bar. You know, one that it looks like Christmas threw up in. Um, there's a few like close by each other so hopefully we can get into one I looked up reservations sold out but if we can just sit at the bar and get a drink real quick or something that works for me yeah you guys I will take you guys along um, I'll pick up my outfit with you guys too I think I'm gonna wear one of those faux leather pants I showed yesterday because they are too good and we gotta we gotta stunt before it gets very very cold out so let me wear some of those and yeah but we got some time uh again it's only four we're gonna meet up at like six or seven so i'm gonna read for a little bit i'm gonna read my book this one i'm gonna read the push get some of this done and chill for a little bit so 
I will catch you guys once we're ready to go out. What's up, y'all? It's a little bit later in the afternoon. I think I mentioned to you that I would um, get ready and do my makeup in this vlog. I made it into a whole separate video because I uploaded the footage and edited it and I'm already sitting at an hour so I'm gonna cut off the vlog here but tonight I am going and doing some Christmas bar hopping you know all the all the Christmas decked out bars so if you want to see a little bit of that make sure to watch my next vlog but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed spending Thanksgiving with me spending some time with the fam and just regular everyday life so yeah make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and let me know how you guys like the vlog but anyways i will catch you guys in the next one bye